Sorry, man. Oh, the Bobo Classic? Oh, no, what up? Oh, yeah, down throw, short hop, up tilt. Alright, so, um, so Pikachu is like one of the small, well, one of the few characters who's known to do well against Palutena, and I'm guessing that Pikachu does even better now, seeing that the Palu nerfs are like through. Nair not killing us I mean, earlier. I feel like Pikachu throw. does really well against all of the top tiers, and like only, I mean, Pikachu, he doesn't have a perfect matchup spread. Yeah. Uh, Game and Watch. Game and Watch. It's, it's Game hilarious. Watch. It's, it's so funny. That character feels like he was actually designed to counter Pikachu and Pikachu. And uh, Game and Watch, Ness, and uh, Mario give uh, Pikachu a hard time. But we're not playing on those characters. We're playing Palutena on FD, which is actually considered. Which I'm surprised because FD, uh, from my knowledge at least, is considered like one of Palutena's worst stages. So I'm surprised that Ray opted to go here for game one. I think the reasoning behind it might have been uh, bring things to a more neutral playing field, literally. As in, there aren't platforms for Pikachu to do crazy stuff on. FD is like the most neutral heavy stage. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, at Ray, Shy Guy is good, but like I think that Utopian's Ray, Ray's neutral is better. If you look at it in terms of just <laughs> history, in terms of record. But, <laughs> he oh. ran up and up smash. And he blinked the game as a little, little cute wink to the camera. Oh, okay, that was a good wink. Cause that, cause if we up into the ledge, Ray would have just reacted. And that, that hitbox is decently sized and it lasts a long time. Oh, yo, that was such DI. I'm pretty sure. I, from what I think, I think he DI'd in. Yeah, he I think so too. I think he was maybe expecting a different move. But now both at zero percent, very even game, and now they both have their combos. Okay, back air into up air, up air, back air, like bread and butter Pikachu stuff. <laughs> Which is, it, like Pikachu is a character that like, yes, he has all these fantastic combos. However, it takes a while for it to happen, you know? Yeah. He, he'll hit you like four times and it only does like 30. Granted, it's very consistent that he hits you four times and does 30, which is why the character is good. But, you know, Palu hits you once against four Nairs and you're at like 50. Yeah, like Nair, 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 the up air, up air. But you won't get that on the stage because it's FD, but points will come across. Especially since it's Pikachu, you know, low percent. Uh, oh, percent leads, means a lot more since they're gonna Pikachu's dying a lot earlier than you are, you know, especially since the Pali. So even though they're like even in percents, it's definitely hard to be in your favor because he's in kill percent now. Neutral. Okay, so. Uh, what was good about Ray? What, what was good about what Ray did there is that um, he, he died up when he backered him, so he didn't get sent to a tech situation. Because Pikachu does a lot off, just very good off the tech situations. Because like uh, jab uh, into down tilt, this is very good. People miss tech a lot, but um, ooh, we can get that roll in. Sour spot because that move has a tipper, like the, the end of the F smash does good. Oh, that was. Barely hit him. If he didn't hit him, he was dead. Oh. There we go. Narrow flat. That was a bit of a curious run in that Utopian Ray did. I feel like that was like sort of a very confidence move by him. Just run all the way in and down tilt. And it did not work out for him very clearly. Uh, oh, is he dead? No. Oh, my. He managed his resources as well. He managed his resources as well, but at the same time, I feel like Shy Guy could have maybe gone for some nutty suicide thing. Yeah. Maybe not for a two frame, but um, here's the thing. Oh, no, never mind. Here's Again that. with the sus DI on dash attack. I, I don't. I think that. I don't think that was sus. But I don't know. I. I he mean, was at 130. Yes, but he was like from mid stage. He could have DI'd all the way out. He might have survived. Right, maybe. I don't, know. I don't know. But anyways, uh, relatively uh, not even game. Uh, Shy guys in the lead. He's got a. I would call this a pretty. Uh, game. I and no, definitely never mind. Yeah. <laughs> That down tilt's actually really good because it lingers for a while, so Pikachu has a big chance of running into it. Yeah. Same thing with the up smash, but Chai Guy's been waiting for the up smashes. And also up tilt. Actually, two of the moves that Palu got buffed. Up tilt and up smash. Uh, oh, yeah, up tilt kills. Yeah. There are two good tools in this matchup specifically. I wonder I wonder how Chai Guy's going to die that last stock. Because he's died both times from dash attack, so... Well, it was not just dash attack, it was dash attack off of recovery to the point where I agree with the FD pack because those felt like situations that could only happen on FD. Fair Having enough. to go high and then be like right behind him, you know? And a lot of this game has been at the ledge for either the that trip or now. <gasps> dash attack of his own, but it's Pete not Manos. quite able to finish. F smash. Like one or two percent away. I think Shy he's looking for, a, looking for a near up smash. 
Oh, Toby Ray was so aware of it, but he couldn't get a punish on that positioning. Good shield. Oh, that was a very nice defense. Hey. Even with the sour spot, it gets him, and you saw the shy guy. He half popped off, and then he stopped, and then he popped off again. Yeah, yeah. Because cool. he didn't spike, it killed him off the side. That was a very well timed um, two frame. Because that's what you gotta do against Palutena, that's like one of the. Um, that's one of the. Um, that's one of the bad things about a recovery is that it, it's, if, you're, if you're decent. And you have a good good move to do it. Like you can two frame or semi consistently. Like if you like if you go for it. I'm actually I, I understand why he's staying Palutena. Um, I think he also might have the. I realize that his other characters are all stunned to get against Pikachu, but I do feel that considering the matchup, keep in mind who Shy Guy's brother is. Huh? Keep in mind who Shy Guy's brother is. Oh he yeah. Has oh. So much experience in this matchup. Phantom. Yeah. Pa Phantom. Uh, to the point where like possibly going Banjo could have helped him. Just in terms of, you know, you would have less experience. All right. Actually, no, that Rob, so, that we do have a little bit of technical difficulties on okay, our we'll end. Oh, we can watch it right there. Gonna, yeah, I'm just going to watch it from oh, the visuals. Oh, everything's powering down. Everything's doom destroyed. Uh, can they still hear us? Okay, up to up air. Oh, I'm missing the thunder. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do one of these. The I'm going to do one of <laughs> the hard leads. Oh, that was actually such a sick recovery that uh, Shot Guy just went for. And as we're... Hey, there we go. We are back in business. And Topian Ray starting this game off much better than the last time around. He has what is pretty much a pretty well-defined lead, considering the fact that he doesn't really have the risk of dying right now. Not really. I mean, yes, there are things that Shot Guy could do that could lead to a kill, but he doesn't have to be horribly scared, whereas on the other hand... Shy Guy, that stock now gone from him, and he has to, as Pikachu, and this is what the biggest, you know, sort of weaknesses of the character is sometimes he just really struggles to actually find ways to end stocks. That's one of the things that um, Shy Guy does, is that he, like, shoots a couple T-Jolts off stage, and now he's gotten comfortable to keep doing that, and Ray went off stage and punish him, that's pretty good. So, Shy Guy doesn't have a lot to go off now. Uh, down air, uh, F smash, I didn't even smash tax, so I mean, yeah, up smash. Wish he can get from an air comp Nair confirm, but that's really it. Minus like edge guard, but like oh, that's that's that. But um, where is this kind of like we got the stock lead. He's like keep you there. That was a good up smash. Good call out on the uh the landing. But now shy guy needs to get a Pikachu combo. Okay. Right, Thirty six percent. That is honestly a pretty keep solid it. start for this next stock. He's almost evened it up here. Yeah, no, he's got the momentum. But keep in mind, you're Pikachu. You're lightweight. So, unless you hit him with like a really one of your strong moves, like down air basically, or any type of edge guard, that's kind of hard. And you see the down throw nerfs coming in. Not getting anything too off a of 90 because it's Pikachu and he's light. And then there. Now Shaggy's at the ledge. And he's getting back because he's Pikachu and quick attack, busted. Throwing out Ooh. lots of moves right here. And he's very careful not to pick the wrong time to go in. Oh, this is really big oh, for shit. him. That's the net. That's uh, quite a few times, actually. Tobin Ray has been uh, tripped up by that. Oh, and he jumped right into that, but he tech Beautiful hit. tech! The, the, the melee. I think he hit two techs in the middle of that, right? Uh, or was I it just the I, one? I, I don't I know if at least one. I don't know if there are any others. I thought, uh, maybe I could just be crazy. Also, this is the thing that Utopian Ray does. He angles his shield. Yeah, that's very good. Like, oh yeah, because a lot, because Pikachu gets a lot off the shield pokes, and if you're, if you're able to deny that plus the shield buff, it's pretty good. Oh, okay. Did he angle his shield away from himself? I don't know. Oh, Did he decrease the distance that, that was he would a, be pushed back. Now Shaggy's in the lead. I know. I'm just trying spot. to dwell a little bit on what Utopian Ray just did there with his shield, because he angled his shield away from him, so that when he hit his shield, he oh. was closer to his body, and he got. I oh my god. That, sorry, so I, I realize there's a whole match going on right now. Shy Guy's actually oh, about to 2 0 possibly. Oh, that was Utopian really Ray. So, Utopian Ray, instead of up beating right to the ledge, he up beat up and then drifted to the ledge because Shy Guy tried down air two framing him and he did it before. Last game, so Ray just swapped. And that there is, he goes. How many stocks has he lost to that's that? The that's the third one really? that yeah. I've counted. Three in a, set of two, uh, in a set of two games. So, out of the five stocks he's lost, three of them. I've been to dash pack. I have something recovery. Four stocks. He's only lost four stocks. Oh yeah, he didn't lose three last game. I'm stupid. 
All right, but now we're in a really scary position for both players. Shy Guy, this would be a really good win for him, especially considering we haven't seen him here in the scene. You know, he's been off doing his own thing. I think he's been in school, whatever has been going on with him, you know? But this is big triumphant return to Encore, to Westchester, and he wants to make a showing for himself. He might do it! Oh! He gets the that's, read that's on the up smash! Shy Guy takes I, the I set 2-0. <laughs> Just rip it off, why don't you?